What up, folks? Ronnie Kenyatta here coming at you straight out of Atlanta, Georgia, here doing the Facebook Live thing once again. Um, I wanted to do it earlier when I was outside. I wanted to be outside walking the dogs, you know, because I got a new dog I wanted to show you. Hey, Chloe, come here. New dog in the house. Been new, new to y'all, not new to, not new to uh, us, uh, of course. I'm going to try to get her up here. Chloe, Chloe, come here. Come here. Come here. Chloe. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't hurt yourself. Oh. This is Chloe. She's new to the game here. This is her first video. She's all up in the camera. Totally different than uh, Nobu. Nobu was, didn't want anything to do with it. But as you can see, we got Chloe here. Chloe, Chloe. So I wanted y'all to say hi to her, and uh, hopefully she'll be making some more video appearances. All right, there you go, Chloe. Nobu, come here. Y'all see Nobu? Y'all see him? A little bit. There he is. There he is. A little Nobu action. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up where we left off the other day. I had that stent removal procedure today. And, man, you know, it was two minutes long, but... In baseball, we have a, a term called, and you know, people, other people probably use it, getting in your own head. It's like when you, um, you know, you have, a, like in baseball, you know, if uh, you're not hitting well or whatever, and then, um, you know, instead of just working on your swing or something, you got something, well, I, I should have wore two, I should have uh, wore the same T-shirt or undershirt, you know, last game, you know, superstition type stuff. Instead of you... Uh, instead of you sticking to um, what's real and true, you let all this stuff get in your head. With this stent removal thing, I had it in my head as the most, as the craziest thing ever, you know, something, some type of torture. I just had all this fear built up in my head, you know. I got there, it was two minutes long, and I was done, you know. And everything was in my head, you know. But to give you an idea how it works, it's, it's, it's pretty, I guess you could say the graphic. But basically what you do is you, they take it like a little tube, put it through your, your, your urethra, it goes down to your urinary tract, they grab the stent and yank it out literally, like one, two, or three, boom. And as crazy as that sounds, it was, they were in and out in two minutes, you know, I had it all, it was all mental, you know. So I think that's the true definition of fear right there. They say the acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. I had some serious false evidence going on in my head. And here's the thing. It was supposed to be the 31st, you know, so at least I had, uh, in, my, in my mind, I had a week to just let it go. And I get a call Monday or Tuesday. Nah, dude, you got to be here Thursday. <laughs> I was like, whoa. So, you know, what could I do? I showed up. They banged it out in two minutes, and that was it. I'm going to put a link to what it looks like in um, the description so you can get a, a more clear idea of what it is. But as far as uh, transplant goes, um, I went to the labs as well. Transplant result, went to the lab as well. My blood work is still going good, going well, so I'm just still moving forward. And that's the last procedure for a year. The next one is going to be, I don't know if y'all saw the dialysis video, but when I get this graft, you can't see it. The graft right here, I'm going to get that taken out of my arm. That's where they used to access, they used to access this right here for dialysis. So in my dialysis video, I talked about how they put the two needles in, right? Put the two needles in, they take the blood out, clean it, put it back in. They did that right here. And, and uh, a year from July 18th, they, take, they tie it off or either take it out, one of the two. So, you know, you know God willing, I'm done with procedures until... July of 2018. So um, I think that's about it. I, you know, I always tell you guys, I try to keep this video short. Um, I know, well, I'll throw some more information out there. I think I told you this last video, Liam and I did a video from a, a gentleman. Uh, he's with a, a sports radio talk show. And um, that video is going to be up any day. We did that a couple of days after the um, surgery. And then the documentary I was talking about, that should be up any day as well. So we're all real excited about that. I told you about the partnerships I'm working on with certain, with a couple organizations. Um, so I'm really excited, folks. I'm going to do my part to get the word out on kidney transplants, organ donation, 
And, um, you know, it's something that I did, I never wanted to do. You know, I wanted to just, you know, my, my, my people close to me will tell you, I just wanted to be healthy and reverse this thing on my own. Unfortunately, it didn't work out like that. I did fight it off for 15 years, but um, unfortunately, it didn't work out like that. But this kidney transplant, Liam Murphy below, shout out, has been a true blessing. You know, I'll, I got to thank the universe for lining everything up and making it possible. So um, I think that's all we have for this evening, folks. Like I said, I really wanted to be outside hanging with the dogs, you know, and um, doing my thing that way, but didn't work out. I, you know, I ain't going to lie, I was just lazy laying around, you know, watching TV, eating, whatever. But um, I think that's about it, folks. So I know you guys have the week. We got the weekend coming up. Everybody enjoy the weekend. I'll probably post another one, you know, Sunday. Um, and then I go back to the go back to the doctor on Thursday. I go back to the to Emory for lab work on Thursday. Then I'll see my doctor again as well. And we're just gonna keep moving forward, folks. So thanks for all the love y'all gave me last time. To keep it up. I'm gonna put this on YouTube as well. So if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel number one and like and share this to all your people. Let's let this whole journey go viral. This is gonna progress to when I can start going back to work. I'm gonna start making fitness video fitness videos again like I did. When, when I'm in a primarily a baseball facility. want to have baseball um, videos as well, teaching teaching kids how to increase their velocity. And um, we're still going to be coming with the, uh, the kidney information and also just giving people information on how to stay positive and how to get the best out of life from my perspective and some professionals I know. So that's it, folks. You guys have a great evening and a weekend. I'm going to talk to you soon. I'm out.